Hey kids, Phineas T. Walsh here. Welcome to The Fallout Shelter, a brand new children's show just for you. Kids, I mean. The rest of you? You know who I'm talking about. Bye! Previously on the Fallout Shelter, we learned some of the reasons we have seasons. We learned about the December and June solstices. We learned about the March and September equinoxes. Then we entered Central Park to see spring in action. We went to the Swedish Cottage Marionette Theater, Shakespeare Garden, the Belvedere Castle with its Henry Luce Nature Observatory, and then to that pond named after all those turtles swimming around in it. Then to the Delacorte Theatre, home to Shakespeare in the park. And finally, the Great Lawn. I know what you're thinking. Where's the pirate? Why isn't he bothering us with his silly interruptions? Well, he finally realizes you kids are too smart for him. You're not falling for that nonsense about pooping pigeons. They don't poop on you on purpose, right? Of course not. Hello. So next time... Whoa, Stu. I like this um, wind guard. Great color. Am I popping my piece? Yeah? Ooh. Thank you. Stu, our uh, sound man. So, we're going to now go over to the other side of the park and see some spots that I know you've heard about but maybe never seen. So, if you're ready, Joey Diaz, let's get going. But before we do, could you put the pirate on for a moment? Yeah, yeah. Really, Stu, this is nice, thank you. Yo ho ho. Pirate. I just wanted to tell you that um, that took some real self-control. I know and I'm not wanted. Well, I um, hope you don't take this personally. You? Personally? Ugh, don't be Good. silly. Good. I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it, Pirate. I really do. But I'm just trying to be helpful, okay, Phineas. Everyone. So we will see you um, on the other side of the park. See you later. Bye. Psst. Hey, kids. Pigeons may not poop on you on purpose, but they know you're down there. So don't be fooled. No, those aren't yachts in the distance sailing on a windswept lake. We've arrived at Conservatory Water, the setting for a famous yacht race between two model sailboats, one called the Wasp, its captain a brave little mouse named Stuart, and the other, the Lillian B. Womrath. Who won the race? Well, if you don't know, you'll have to read Stuart Little to find out. I'll never tell. Conservatory Water got its name from a large glass house, otherwise known as a conservatory, which had been planned for the site but not built. This reflecting pool took its place and its name. Although you ask anyone and they'll tell you, Conservatory Water? That's the Stuart Little Pond. Looks like storytelling hours at hand. And here's Joey D, waiting patiently at the feet of Hans Christian Andersen. This happy sculpture, nestled on the shores of conservatory water, is a popular destination for kids of all ages. And during the summer, as the sign mentioned, a storyteller gathers a crowd around Hans each Saturday morning and entertains them with tales of witches and mermaids. Speaking of Hans, what's he reading anyway? An ugly duckling, what else? And last but not least, we come to the most popular sculpture in Central Park. Can you guess what it is from behind? Okay, here's a hint. Kids, young and old, come from great distances just to climb to the top of the giant mushroom. Have you guessed it? Oh, all right, I'll have to tell you then. It's the Alice in Wonderland sculpture. 
Joining Alice and her little kitten on top of the giant mushroom is the gang from the Mad Tea Party. The Mad Hatter, Large Hare, and Dormouse. And if you look closely, you'll see the Cheshire Cat watching over them from a nearby tree. And just to prove how big that mushroom really is, Joey D has graciously agreed to pose for us. Now check out the Dormouse. Look at Joey. They're about the same size, wouldn't you say? Hmm? By the way, there was a crowd of people snapping photos of Joey D while he posed for us here. Look at him. <laughs> what a ham bone. And before we go, here's what we saw in part four. There's the conservatory water. There's the Hans Christian Andersen sculpture and the Alice in Wonderland sculpture. Well, that's about it. We hope you enjoyed our little tour of Central Park in the springtime as much as we did. As a matter of fact, spring has not only sprung by the time you've seen this, it is over. The June solstice will have passed and it will officially be summer in the Northern Hemisphere. But thank you so much for sticking with this endless episode. And we'll see you next time. From Phineas T. and Joey D., this is the Fallout Shelter signing off. You be safe out there. What, Phineas has finished? He forgot the most important sign of spring. Well, the kids must see it. Now you'll thank me for it, trust me. Oh, yes, yes, so was Joey D. Oh, Stu could do it. He could grab the camera and run. Sure he could. Stu, grab the camera. Go on, go on, grab it. Yeah, good, good, that's great, great, great. Now, now, move it. No, 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 not that way, the other way. Yeah, good, 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 let's go. Now, don't worry, don't worry, it's not that far. Trust me. Ah, Bethesda Terrace. The crown jewel of the Central Park. The terrace was designed by our old friend Calvert Fox with the assistance of Jacob Ray Mould, who designed these elaborate stone carvings of birds and fruit and flowers, as well as whimsical motifs of the four seasons. As a matter of fact, here's Jacob Ray Mould with one of his four seasons. And lucky for us, it's spring, the very subject of this episode. Notice, if you will, a delicate bird's nest with a mother bird sitting upon her precious eggs. Notice also the baby chick emerging from the egg right there. Closest to the... Excuse me. What's going on here? Oh, shush! I, I turned around. You guys were gone. I, the egg is hatching. What egg? The, the most important sign of spring. An egg hatching. A chick emerging fresh into the world. A mother lavishing her baby with love. Feeding it. Uh, watching it grow. Wow. Pirate, I, I'm... I'm speechless. Yeah, well, spring is a time of growth and, and no, renewal. You're right. You're right. I, of life I was being so born. Wrapped up in my scientific facts, I forgot that the most important sign of spring is yeah. life, the birth of new life. Well, you got that right, Finny, yeah, me boy. You're right. You're right. I, I, you saved the day. Thank you. I, say? I was wrong about you. you all your interruptions during my lessons. Well, you were... get a little too serious with all your lessons. I, I was trying to lighten things up, have a little well, fun with you. I will try to have a little more fun so you won't have to um, lighten things up. How's that? Fine. Well, any time you say, Finny, me boy. Well, okay, fine. Uh, we have to wrap things up. Pirate, you have the last word. Me? Well, well bust me britches. I... I Oh, just so exciting. Okay, well, where's my words? Where's my lines? Uh, okay, 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 here we are. From the fallout shelter, this is the pirate. And there's Phineas T and Joey D saying bye-bye. Watch out for those pigeons, kitties. Bye.